Hey guys, so today I am doing finally the best of 2016 high-end makeup. Now I didn't try a whole lot of things from 2016, so some of these things if you guys have been watching my videos for a while are repetitions because I've hauled them this month this year and uh home like the last six months and I'm gonna basically share with you my favorite high-end makeup that I discovered in 2016. So I don't have that many things, like I have some things, but let me tell you, my drugstore, best of drugstore 2016 is going to be humongous because I have so many new products this year from the drugstore that I absolutely love because I am a drugstore girl. So, let's get straight into it. Number one, by far, my absolute favorite powder that I have tried this year has been the Laura Mercier Translucent Face Powder. This is such a finely milled, beautiful powder. I have dry skin and I still think that this powder is absolutely wonderful. Just because it is so finely milled and so soft that it doesn't look drying, it doesn't look cakey on the face. I obviously don't bathe in it. I'm very light anytime that I put on any type of powder on my face because I have dry skin, but I absolutely love this one. It's a really, really, really good one, and I'm so glad that I got the guts up. Does that make sense? I got the guts up. I got the guts. I had the balls to go buy this because this thing is pricey, but I like it. Next is something that you have seen too much too much on my channel, too much. Favorites, tutorials, I just talk about it randomly. I'll just pull it up and talk about it. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Diffused Heat. This is such a beautiful blush that has like a baby pinkness to it almost and it's absolutely beautiful and it has a beautiful sheen it has a beautiful glow to it it's just such a gorgeous blush and has been one of my absolute favorites seriously like i have this blush in my everyday makeup drawer every day since i bought it like i won't take it out i love it it's so beautiful and whenever i can't find what to pair like what kind of blush to pair with my look most likely I'll pop this out and I'll and I'll put it on because it's just so gorgeous and it just leaves my skin looking beautiful and glowy but it's just it's not shimmery at all it's just absolutely beautiful and I love these hourglass blushes they are really really nice next I'm I'm not even going to go through all these before I show you like my ultimate like my favorite 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 thing that I tried this year high end or drugstore like my favorite thing Ever this year is the Moonchild palette by Anastasia Beverly Hill. This is the most beautiful iridescent duochrome highlight I have ever tried in my whole life. And I'm not gonna lie, not a lot of brands make that duochromish um, iridescent type of highlight. So this is what it looks like. Absolutely amazing, amazing. So beautiful and I have there's a silver in there a blue ice that like you turn and it looks bluish a blue moon a purple horse a lucky clover pink heart I absolutely love these and my two favorite are actually the purple one and the pink one uh you know oh my gosh these powders are just amazing. I'll go ahead and swatch them for you. I should have had one on today, but I absolutely love these two. These are my favorite, and I even love the green one. Surprisingly, I will definitely rock the green one with like an olive look, but absolutely gorgeous. Look at the pigmentation. It's just so beautiful. If you're into that duochrome, like it looks like a color in the light, like you're not sure, this is such a good palette. Oh my God. I had to have it as soon as I saw it um, like Sparkage talked about it I went to the store I picked it up I didn't look back I didn't look at my receipt I was so incredibly happy with this because it is so amazing my number one favorite top 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 from the drugstore this year or sorry three two one from all right so let's talk about some eyes so this has been new for this I bought in 2016 but it was like one of the first 
like in the beginning of the year-ish kind of. This is the Tartlet in Bloom palette by Tarte. And um, first off, I went to the store and bought this because of the packaging. It just went in my background so nicely I had to have it. I know it sounds ridiculous, but um, absolutely gorgeous. I dropped it a couple times and this funny girl one kind of like almost died on me and kind of pressed it in there but this is such a wonderful palette i love it i almost love it as much as my naked palette from urban decay and that naked palette is well loved it is well loved often often loved and so i absolutely love this one and sometimes i'll just reach for this one more it has nine mattes and two kind of like satinish finish and one that's kind of more of a shimmery finish but this is just such a beautiful palette it has you know the dark cool brown the dark red brown the dark purple purpley color um this beautiful color right here rebel like these two are my absolute favorite from this palette absolutely gorgeous and then it has like the cool mid-tone shade or cool transition shade then it has some beautiful brow colors it's just this is such a beautiful palette that I feel like you could get a lot of use out. They're beautiful neutrals. The mattes are gorgeous. Has some shimmers popped in there and it's absolutely gorgeous packaging. So I love this palette. This is such a beautiful palette for the eyes. But that's not the only palette for the eyes I've been loving. This is the Master Palette by Mario from Anastasia. Uh, this one, again, is one of those palettes that I got just recently and I have been loving. I've been loving. And um, I try not to show it to you guys so much because I feel like I've done tutorial after tutorial using this. But I absolutely love it. And I love this Isabel shade right here. It's absolutely gorgeous. And uh, this Paris shade also. It looks just like a regular purpley taupe, but it's absolutely absolutely gorgeous so this is another one of those palettes that I have been loving um, I'll go ahead and swatch some of these for you again this one is really really soft I haven't had a problem with these palettes as far as pigmentation I mean I, you guys will see in the in the tutorials where I show you guys these these are just absolutely gorgeous palettes and I just love them and I definitely recommend them all right since we're talking about the eyes let's talk about this I have I think I have not every color, but I have like five of these Anastasia um, brow definer pencils. And right now I'm using soft brown. I love it. I think that these pencils are by far my favorite that I've, not my favorite favorite. I have a drugstore one that I actually like better than this, surprisingly. But this is a, one of my favorite ones, eyebrow pencils that I've tried and definitely the only one I've tried from high end this year, um, from Sephora this year, but this one's in soft brown. It's what I have on today to go with my blonde hair. And I love it. I love the angle because it just makes it so easy to just create whatever look that you want. Um, it has a thin, thin side, like, I'll go ahead and show you. So on the angle, it's thicker on this side and thinner on this side. And so I feel like if I need to get thin hair-like strokes, I can do it. If I want to get thicker or I want to cover more surface area on my eyebrow, I can definitely do that with the thicker side. And so I love the angle to it because it's kind of like an angled eyebrow brush, but in the pencil itself. So it just gives you a beautiful shape. I don't want to bore you to death, so let's do some lippies. So um, you guys know I've been obsessed with trying Dose of Colors lippies, matte lippies liquid lipstick. Out of all the ones that I've tried from Dose of Colors, these are my two favorites. First off, it's Cork. Cork is the most beautiful autumn, like brown with a little bit of like a poop brown in there. Like I can't even explain it. It's absolutely gorgeous and I love it. And it's so smooth and just looks so beautiful on the lips. Also, the one that I'm wearing today, which is a berry shade, it's newer to me. It's Berry Me is what it's called. And it's one of the newer ones that I got in my last haul right before January. But it's absolutely gorgeous and I love it. And it's obviously what I have on today, but I love these Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. I think they are beautiful and they just go on so smooth. Also, I also tried these Too Faced Melted Matte Lippies. And this one has been my favorite out of the ones that I've gotten before. This one is called Lady Balls. And you can tell why it's my favorite. It's called Lady Balls. Of course. Ha! Huh. 
and it's a beautiful true red uh, this is the color that I had on in my last video absolutely gorgeous I love it it's so beautiful and just such a perfect red I don't know. I love the formula of these melted matte lips, lippies. I don't feel like they're too dry. I think that the pigmentation is awesome. This little baby is just so wonderful if you have dry skin. If you, if you have dry skin, listen up because this next one is terrific. This is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer and it's the hydrating one. This one is so great if you have dry skin. I don't use a lot. I feel like if I use too much of this at one time, it will make me break out a tiny bit. Like I'll get a blemish and I'm pretty sure it's this stuff. And But because it's really hydrating, if it's too hydrating, then it's too much moisture with foundation, just, just too much. But I only use a tiny, tiny bit. Like this is how much I will use on my entire face. And it just it's kind of that milky texture, but it's so smooth and soft and it really does hydrate the skin. It quenches your skin, it quenches that thirst that your skin has. You know what I mean? So I really like this foundation primer and I just got one of these, an oil-free one for my sister-in-law. So that's how much I like it. I gift approve it. So last out of my 2016 favorites um, from the higher end spectrum of the world, that did not make sense, from Sephora basically. Um, so these are the Becca highlighters. And so this, these are very, very, very new, but I'm obsessed with them. I'm in love with them. I'm wearing one of them today. I got uh, Moonstone and Opal. This is what opal looks like. It kind of has a little bit like a, a goldeny, beigey, like peachy kind of highlight. It looks like this. Absolutely gorgeous. I love these ones. They're so beautiful. No sh shimmer, just straight on sheen, gorgeousness, glowiness. And then the one I have on today is called Moonstone. It's an absolutely gorgeous gold um, and it's very very beautiful and very pigmented you guys so there's opal and um, moonstone next to each other but this one right here is the one that I have on today as my highlight really really gorgeous and you don't need a lot I love these Becca highlights they are beautiful if you want to try a highlighter from Sephora I would recommend you try the one of the Becca ones because you can't go wrong. They're just so beautiful and just they're soft powder. Like no matter what your highlight preference is, I think you could find it in there. Anyway, so that's it. That's it for my 2016 favorites from Sephora. Higher end favorites. Uh, I am super excited because next is Drugstore. Drugstore, Best of Beauty Drugstore 2016. I have so much stuff in there. Like from the drugstore I have so many favorites that I knew I had to do this video first because that video is going to be gigantic long a lot of products shown a lot of affordable products shown that you guys can go crazy on so if you want to see that video make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will go ahead and do that video for you guys uh, I can't believe 2016 has gone by it's gone by so fast but I'm so happy I'm not gonna lie I probably had some of the hardest times of my life this last year and I'm just I'm rejuvenated. I'm I feel new. I feel ready to start a new year just with a lot of happiness and just a lot of love. Like I'm just super excited for this new year. It's going to a lot of amazing changes. A lot of things are going to happen and uh, my husband's going to be done with school. We might be moving. Like it's just this year is going to be just so awesome. I hope you guys had a wonderful 2016. Hope you have a wonderful day. You have a wonderful new year and you're excited and, and anything bad that happened last year, leave it last year. Leave it there. Start this year just excited and happy. Um, make some goals. Get motivated over something. I love you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, my little face, so that it can subscribe you and hit the bell to remind you or to send you notifications. Uh, all my social media links are over there. Go check it out. Go see me on Snapchat. Come say hi. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.